Hi, I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with Samat Sagal, founder and CEO at BreachLock, developers of a world-class, award-winning penetration testing as a service platform. To learn more about our sponsor, BreachLock, visit BreachLock.com. Samant, welcome back. Great to have you with us again. Great to be back with you, Steve. So, Samant, you were on with us last year, and you gave the CISO and security leader community a great demo of your pen testing as a service platform. We got great feedback. And then you and I were in touch with each other recently. I understand that uh, you've done quite a bit of work over the past year and have some more to show us today. So maybe in a minute or less, you could just give us a, a quick overview and then jump in and give us the demo. Absolutely, Steve. And it's great to be back with you here and speaking with the audience that you have, CISO, CIO, CTOs. And I'd like to start with the use cases, really, because that's where your your audience is really interested in, right? So uh, when you look at a product like BreachLock, you know, we've done a lot in the past three years. We were in Gartner Hype Cycle in July of uh, 2021 amongst eight other P-Task uh, players in the market, right? So clearly we're doing something uh, good there to, to get into that kind of a list. Uh, but really, if you talk about the use cases, there's two use cases that I see uh, all the time when we deal with clients, and we've got 600 plus active subscriptions as we speak on our platform today, right? So the number one use case is really security assurance, right? Where you have these uh, CISOs, CIOs, CTOs that are just about to sign a contract with a Fortune 500 company. And that's where they come to breach lock because the, the, the contract owner on the other side of the table would not sign unless they bring a independent pen testing report from a third party like breach lock, right? So that's one of the use cases that I see. And that's more likely to be related to your PCI, HIPAA, ISO 27001 as well. So the other flavor of that security assurance is really compliance. Now, the other part, which is number two use case that I see, is more in the enterprise space. Now, why is that a challenge for an enterprise? Because pen testing has been there in the market for quite long. Well, the challenge really is that the way pen testing is done today in the market is not really scalable. And uh, what BreachLog does in this case is it, it solves that scalability issue. So imagine a CISO of an enterprise or a director of engineering or a CIO of an enterprise where they have to test 30, 40, 50 applications in a year and they're managing different business owners on the back end, right? Now, this is a headache for anybody that's in that spot. So that's really the problem that we are focusing on, right? And we converge all of the uh, pen testing requirements that they have across the full stack into one single view where they can control it all and they can get all the pen tests going in a very uh, short time frame, but also with the ease of business that BreachLock brings on the table. Now, with that said, I'll jump right into the demo. So I'll bring it up on my screen here. And, and here you can see uh, that there is uh, uh, the four-step process that we talked about, Steve, if you remember in a last uh, meeting that we had, right? And this is really the four-step mantra, as I call it, within uh, breach lock, and that's how we explain it to our clients. So if you look at any life cycle of a pen test, there are these four steps. You onboard, you execute, you remediate, you retest, right? I'll explain them one by one to you. So obviously, when you start off, we need to know what your scope is, and that's what we do in the platform. So we give you a client success manager. They help you. They handhold you. Even though you don't know anything about pen testing, they'll tell you exactly what needs to be tested within your scope, right? And they lock that scope inside the platform. From there is where we start to execute the pen test, and this is where the secret sauce of breach lock comes in, right? Now, we have automated a lot of pen testing tasks that normally an ethical hacker will do in a company uh, that, that you hire, where there's only people working, right? And what we have is we've combined best of both worlds. So we use automation AI, but we also have human hackers that are certified and would fill in the gaps wherever the automation cannot do its job, right? So in the execution, the first step for us is really to launch an automated AI-oriented pen test, get the results that the automation can take care of, and then fill in the gaps from the ethical hacking perspective. And that gives you a complete report that comes in two formats, executive summary and the technical detailed report. 
And after that, you move to the third phase in the process, which is remediation. Now, you didn't start a pen test just to know what the problems were, right? You really want to solve them. And that's where we support you. We let you extract all of those things into other platforms like Jira, Jira Slack, Trello, or Jenkins for that matter. And what we also give you there is through that single window, which is our platform, we let you interact with the security experts so they can really help you solve those uh, bugs. Now, let's say you've solved the bugs, but how do you know they're really solved? That's when you move to the fourth step in the process, which is retesting, right? And that's where you, with the with one single click, any DevOps engineer is able to test if his patch is working or not. Is it working as desired or not, right? And once that's all done, we know you're buttoned up, and that's when we update your reports and give you a certificate. Now, with that said, I'll jump into the demo now so you can see these four steps into uh, in, in real action, right, in real time. So, so the first step was onboarding, and that's really simple in our platform, right? It's very intuitive. Uh, you just click here on the view tickets uh, tab, and then you're able to see all the tickets that are there inside of the platform, including the one which is related to your scope, right? And when you enter the scope uh, ticket, you'd be able to see all the information that we need from you, but also stuff that we need to provide you in order for us to kick off the pen test, right? And that includes the IP address ranges or the instructions on your particular kind of pen test, which is where you are probably not uh, accustomed to it, but we do it all the time. You know, as we say, we've seen the movie more than you have, right? So we'd guide you everything uh, with everything that you need to provide us. Now, with that said, once your onboarding is complete, this is the place where you go to. You go to the overview tab and you're able to see if my onboarding is complete or not, right? And you also see the following steps, which is, is your pen test in progress? Is it in quality assurance or is it really completed? So that's where you know your onboarding is completed and now we are kicking off the pen test and that's where it goes into the in progress mode. Now, once it's in the in progress mode, there is a great chance that something goes wrong on your network or some of your clients are having problems, not with the pen test, but maybe another part of the IT, right? So you've got this red button here where you go and you click on the kick kill switch and that's where it sends a message to all of BreachLock team, including our automated and, and manual ethical uh, hacking components where they will just stop with the pen test. So if you see through this, we have thought about uh, you know, all the nitty gritties that you would get in a pen testing life cycle. Now, with that said, now let's assume that your pen test is now completed. As a CISO, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the dashboard and you want to see, you know, where really the risks are. So as you can see in this case, it's a critical uh, risk for this. But what is also very important to note with, uh, with a solution like BreachLock is when you're looking at, at it from a glasses of a CISO, you're able to see all the risks in one place, right? So you've got the web application risk, the API risk, the external network, and the internal network. Now, normally in another circumstance, you would have to go to three or even four different vendors to get all that information. If you move down to the dashboard, you're also able to see what your top risks are in each of the categories, right? So here you see the one from uh, the web applications, here you see from API, and here is where you get the info for external and internal network pen tests. Now, at this stage, you know what your risks are. So you would obviously ask your DevOps engineers to start working on them, right? So this is where your DevOps engineers go. They go to the vulnerability tab, and that's where they're able to see all the details that they have to work with in order to fix that finding, right? So what are these informations? This information would include a vulnerability ID, the standard that we've mapped it to, what is the CVSS score of that finding, the recommendation, that's the most important bit, but also really the cherry on the cake is the detailed proof of concepts that you see here, which we include with each of the findings. Now, why do I say that's important? That's important because if you let an engineer visualize uh, what they need to fix, the fix would go a lot quicker, right? And that goes without saying. So with that said, at this stage, your engineers know what all vulnerabilities are there. They can see it listed. They can sort it with, uh, with the risk so they can prioritize their work. At this stage, they want to go ahead and ask a question to somebody because maybe they don't understand uh, how to actually remediate that finding. And that's where you have this create ticket uh, function, right? You go there, you click on it, and you're able to directly interact with our security experts who would then send you the instructions where you can remediate with 
much ease compared to you googling all the time for all the solutions now keep keep this in mind steve that our uh, client base has a variety of it infrastructure and application problems so like i said you know we've seen the movie more times than you have and because this is a data analytics oriented platform we can we can share those recommendations with you which will really get your uh, you know your patch in place uh, in in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle now, with that said, now let's say your engineers have put in the patch in place, right? What's the next step? You want to see if it really works. So as you can see here, with the power of automation, BreachLock has introduced a new feature where, you, where just with a click of a button, you would be able to test just that vulnerability fix, just that one patch, and you would get the results within 30 minutes, right? So if I would launch this uh, retest, it would go back to the servers, it could connect it with your target, and it see if the vulnerability still exists. And if it is, it goes back to this patch list, which is where you can see all of these patch findings. And we don't just let it disappear from the report right then, right? We give the administrators to have a look at the finding, and then they can click on this button to really confirm the patch. And that's when our analyst would validate it, and that, that's where it goes out of the report, right? So we, we maintain our position as the independent experts, so we, we keep the control in our hands. Um, so that we give you the real security posture that your company uh, actually has, uh, you know, from a hacker's perspective. Now, with that said, now you have the uh, vulnerabilities listed. You probably launched a few automated retests, but is that it? No, that's not it yet, right? Because you want the experts to really validate it each, if each of your patches, including the ones that you were not able to test in, a, in an automated way, have actually worked, right? And that's where you go to the retest tab and you're able to launch a manual retest. Now, what is the manual retest and how is it different from the automated one? A manual retest is where our certified hackers would again come in and they would go through each of the findings and the patches that you've put in place and they would mark it as fixed after the manual uh, round of testing, right? And that's the only time where you would be able to go to the reports tab and get your updated reports. Now, this is the last bit in the process, you know, again, onboarding, execution, remediation, retesting. So after you're done with the full life cycle, you want to get your latest reports. So this is the tab where you get your latest reports. And if you click on this button, you'd be able to see that we've got three kinds of reports. There's the pen test report, which is a technical report for your engineers. There's an executive report that is more for the CISOs, the CTOs, the CIOs, your board to see what their risks are. And then there's an eventual retest report, which is the clean build of health that you would eventually want to show to your audit auditors or your clients, right? Um, besides that, there's always a case where you don't want to send the report, whether it's a retest report, executive or the detailed, you don't want to send it to your client, right? Because you're not through that deal yet. So there's a certificate, which is like an attestation from breach lock, which just proves that you've undergone the pen test with breach lock, right? And that's where you could send them the certificates so you, they could see stuff like what are the dates when this was tested, what was the scope, and what really was the score of the test without getting into uh, you know, any further details. And that I think is very useful in, in practical circumstances when you're not in a relationship where you do wanna prove that you're uh, looking at your security posture seriously, but you don't wanna send the report yet. Now, with that said, we have uh, covered all the four steps. And you know, an important element is, if you look at any large enterprise, they've got their own systems to work with, right? And these are systems like Jira, Jenkins, Trello, uh, and so on. So in most cases, what we also see is that um, CISOs would want to look at the findings in their own uh, systems so that they can be directly plugged in to their DevOps process, right? They don't have to send the engineers back to breach lock platform all the time, and they can all be worked upon um, in their own platform. So this is where the integration module of breach lock comes in. And here you can see that we can directly export your findings into a Jira cloud instance or a Jira server, a Trello or Slack. Now with that said, Steve, you know, you've gone through all the four steps, you've got your reports, you've sent it to your clients or your auditors, and you've solved your problem, which was very complex when you talked 
about it with a consulting based company that sent you PDFs back and forth, emails, phone calls. And here you see a consolidated view with the four steps, the whole life cycle of pen testing covered in one single solution. And what's better that you can directly connect it with your own DevOps uh, tools so that you can actually get the speed and you can get the pen testing done at the speed of DevOps, right? So that would be the end of my uh, demo, Steve. Happy to answer any questions that you might have. So, Samant, what you're doing is very impressive, and I think now we understand uh, why you're getting the type of recognition you have. For anyone who's watching and not uh, familiar with Gartner's hype cycle, you know, you're talking about being in the Olympics. That that's you know, uh, to, to give you uh, you know, kind of an analogy. There's very very few companies that they list, and there's a lot of players in the industry now. Saman, I know that one of the things Gartner looks at is market execution, and they get a lot of feedback from the community. So tell us about you know, the company, what Breachwalk has done over the past year. Uh, I know your customer base has grown quite a bit. Right. And Steve, what we've really done is, and I think that's the, that's the key to our success, is that we've kept the client, the customer, the user at the center of our strategy, right? So we did not go after doing 10 fancy things. We just concentrated on one. And, and that really one thing is that we've followed the line where we've stuck to the hybrid model. You've got various options that are there in the market. There's a whole uh, crowdsourcing model where you want to solve the pen testing problem by getting in a lot of hackers from across the globe. There's another automated, uh, completely automated solution market, which, which you know, raises a bit of eyebrows with different CISOs because, you know, they're not really confident if an automated tool can really replace a real-time hacker. Uh, so we're really in the middle of that path, right? We are the hybrid model, which means although we invest a lot in automation, which means we can scale our pen testers, but at the same time, we don't let the hybrid benefit of having an ethical hacker actually look at your assets and your vulnerabilities go away. And I think that's the strategy that we've followed that's led to all the success that BreachLock has seen in the past three years. And the best is of course yet to come. Well, Samant, you're getting applause from the community, from us. Uh, we appreciate you coming on with us today. This is uh, great and look forward to having you on again soon. It's been a pleasure, Steve. Thanks for having me. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. Joining us today was Samant Segal, founder and CEO at BreachLog, developers of a world-class, award-winning penetration testing as a service platform. To learn more about our sponsor, BreachLog, visit BreachLog.com. You can watch all of our videos at CybercrimeMagazine.com. Oh,